One of our favorite places to camp is at McDonald Creek near Nacusp, BC. Part of that experience involves gazing up longingly at Saddle Mountain. All that longing and gazing ends today. It's very country. Might be the reflection off the lake. Yeah. yeah. Guys, for the record, where are we sleeping tonight? The hut. Yeah? You're optimistic? Yeah. <laughs> Not the hut. Not the hut. <laughs> Not the hut. It's a new tradition starting a hike with a gourmet donut. Then you don't have to bring up any food. <laughs> yeah, it'd be pretty hard to make any use of this though. Hey. Did you guys happen to know anything when staying at the hut? Or oh yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. We're gonna have a party. Oh, okay. Who time. brought the beer, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you serious? It's party, yeah, party time. Words of wisdom. If you actually want to stay overnight at the Saddle Mountain Hut on a nice day, don't come on a Saturday. Or you might find yourself running back down the path to get the tent out of the car. Stupid, 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 stupid stuff. You know what else is heavy? This car camping Canadian Tire Special. All right, I can see the cabin. The current structure on Saddle Mountain was built in 1963 and just finished detailed refurbishing in 2017. Without road access, this lookout originally involved a cold boat ride across the lake, followed by a 15 kilometer hike, taking the entire day. Staying the night up here gives you an idea of how inhospitable this location is, windy and cold and prone to lightning strikes. One unique thing I noticed about this lookout was that those who worked here carved their names in the bedrock nearby. But it must be, um, how do you trace it and carve it? Do you think it's like chisel and they're just, yeah. but they but did they so have, well. They did a great job. All right, for better, for worse, we got the tent set up and now we're bushwhacking. We're gonna see how far we can get over there to Upper Saddle Mountain. Look at that perch. This is from the saddle here. It's a little bit of bushwhacking and route finding to get over to Upper Saddle. But my biggest thing is going to be trying to get back to the cabin before sunset. Woo! Pretty good view from up here. There's the lookout way over there. And there's the sun going down. 